It's a frosty one out here. You guys see this? We got 15 centimeters of snow overnight in Toronto and it's currently minus four degrees. It's April 4th. I know, I know it could be a lot worse. I'm aware, but it's not great. Earlier this morning, I wrote an email to Spring. <laughs> I did. I know it sounds really strange, but I thought, well, how can I somehow manifest warm weather and spring into all of our lives? This is the last resort, obviously. If we were to share this video, perhaps, just perhaps, Mother Nature, the universe, and spring will hear us and uh, get this ball moving a lot quicker. Mm. Dear Spring, I hope this email finds you well. I am writing to you today because I am concerned. Concerned that you haven't been yourself since your birthday rolled around just a few weeks ago. I know that you and the rest of the seasons have been going through a lot of changes, thanks to us selfish, ignorant, and stubborn humans who have been abusing the environment and the planet we call home. For that, I'm truly sorry. I can only imagine the kind of pressure you're under being the one that millions of living, breathing beings rely on to turn things around after your predecessor, Winter. But we believe in you, and in you we trust. Our faith in you is strong because of the following reasons. One, you're considerate. You've always been understanding of the struggles we go through on the East Coast between November and February. And I know that because you make cameo appearances to remind us of your existence. Remember that day in January when you decided to show up right before a snowstorm and give us 24 joyous hours of 12 degree weather? I ate a sandwich on a patio that day. That was a good day. I know you're probably sick of hearing this, but you're the kind and gentle season. Instead of walking into the picture and shocking our bodies with a completely different climate at the end of March, you always ease yourself in and reintroduce yourself in a timely fashion especially to the East Coast newbies. That's respectable. And lastly, you have a way of spreading undeniable beauty all over the world. Hey, I'm a proud Torontonian, but let's face it, there's not a whole lot to look at in the winter outside of concrete, buildings, a steamy lake, frigid looking hipsters, and welcome to Cuba billboards. I mean, I can certainly find the beauty in those things, but it's a beautiful sight to see tulips lining the streets and hipsters shedding their winter toques for their spring toques. That's only possible when you're around. Point is, you're a symbol of hope and happiness for many of us. We know the pressure is on and you can't always perform to everyone's liking, but all we ask is that you be yourself. Don't try to be anyone else. Don't try to be winter. Be you. Be true. Thank you for your time and consideration. I hope to see you soon. Many thanks, best, sincerely, regards, love always, your biggest fan, Bridget. <laughs>